Okay, guys, welcome back to Valley. We uh, just found this dig site, I guess, ancient ruins. In the last video, haven't really gotten too far. Probably need to uh, get some more energy. All right, now we're good to go. Haven't uh, been able to interact with these things yet. Maybe they're called sprites, I'm not sure. But uh, we'll see what's inside here. Thanks for watching. Still heading north. <laughs> I, uh, once again, I'll apologize if the audio for this game pops. I'm not sure if it's just the game or if it's me. Use triangle to open crates. Energy upgrade. Energy capacity is increased with capacitor upgrades. Find four to complete an energy canister. All right, so I guess instead of two on the top left, there would be three. All right, another note. Note from a Pathfinder. I could watch these sprites all day. I can't believe how friendly they are. Brave enough to come right up to us. I guess they have no reason to fear us. We aren't natural predators to them at all. I guarantee you I'm going to miss some note somewhere. So we're halfway, I guess, to another energy bar. Open this one up. Yeah. So now we have three. Still haven't used the uh, acorns yet. Got eight of those. Gotta check every little thing to try and find any note I may miss. Alright, so there's a door there with what three, so we gotta open or shoot three trees, I guess. Hopefully we can make this jump. I'm not sure if we can, though. No, I guess not. Luckily for me, the military is helping to explore all these ruins through the soldiers piloting leaf suits. They call these soldiers pathfinders since they can trek through terrain normally inaccessible to someone like me. Every guy back home is going to want to go joyriding in a leaf suit. But until the military's project comes to a close, we're cut off from any contact outside the valley. I guess the world will have to wait just a bit longer to get their hands on these rides. I'll go up here and see if there's a note or anything. If I can make the jump. And not kill myself, huh? <laughs> Alright, never mind. Medallion. These medallions are said to be used to access an ancient pyramid. Collect enough pieces to gain entry into its chambers. There just so happens to be an acorn in there. Hopefully there are not like difficult puzzles or anything like that. I guess I could take life from this green stuff, I don't know. Use falling momentum to break through cracked surfaces. Well, we could see our feet there. <laughs> see if I can get around. I guess we go back this way. Well, there's two boxes back here. I only saw one. Let's see, an acorn. And another one. 
All right, so 12. Uh, <laughs> guess that's good. I'm not sure. If I cannot get stuck on that wall. All right, soldiers piloting leaf suits leap effortlessly through air functionality are known as pathfinders. Their ability to manipulate life with running speeds up to 110 kilometers an hour make them makes them a deadly addition to the battlefield. Kilometers an hour? I'm not. I'm American. I don't know what. The, <laughs> what we call it? Petrol. Continue search for a life seed. Just what are these glowing orbs that everyone is making a fuss over? They're absolutely beautiful. They seem to grow randomly throughout the valley. I know nothing about them other than that they are indigenous to this valley and that the army is using their energy for their war project. That's about as much as they'll tell me. <sighs> it's such a shame. I wish they would just let them be. But, I suppose, it's the whole reason we're here to begin with. Alright, it looks like I'm crouched, so... I don't know if I am or not. There's a couple of mask-looking things on this wall. said I know I uh, I know she just uh, said it not too long ago but anyways I guess we're just running now got a nice uh, waterfall there health. Oh. The leaf suit's quantum death functionality allows the user to return to life after dying. Well, now what are we supposed to do? Oh, great. They just kill me. I thought I was maybe stuck. Like, you're not supposed to die there. Pretty sure you are. Hopefully we can make the jump. Barely made it. <laughs> but life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it is fully dead. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Oh, great. So is it possible to, uh have to restart the entire game. I thought maybe it was a box at first, huh? <laughs> Just notice the medallion in the top left of the screen. Yeah, I'm just waiting until we use these acorns. I guess the uh, valley's back up to full strength now. Looks like it on the top left. It's clear to me that the natives of 
the valley worshipped the giant tree here almost as a deity. Great lengths were taken to construct obelisks around this tree, which the ancients used to help grow it. I've begun to use the term Titan Tree to designate this species. According to my interpretation, once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed life seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. So that tree produces a life seed. We'll go ahead and read this note. Note from a Pathfinder. Those acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall ordered us to collect enough acorns to open all the passes ways in Sector 3. I'm about halfway there. Got another box over here. And another note. Note from Virginia King. Sacred trees are common in, myth in mythologies around the world, typically acting as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts such as the world tree, Egdrasil of Norse mythology, which provided a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin causing its fail. I keep pressing X to like get out of the note. Alright, so we have to follow the tiny tree's roots to activate all of the obelisk, I don't know. Thought maybe we would go underneath it, but I guess not. Is that a bridge? <laughs> See this uh, blue light up ahead, I guess we'll follow that. Go towards that. If I do not get stuck on stuff. Kind of a cool looking world they have here. Sprite, I thought it was a note or something. I'll uh, see if there's anything at this light up here. Uh, I guess you drown immediately. <laughs> Leaf suits are very heavy equipment, this makes water incredibly dangerous. This doesn't fall apart. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I was hoping I could get it further to the left. this time. Nope. I pressed the jump button but it just didn't work. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't know why. <laughs> why I'm so determined to get this. The origin of this valley's inhabitants continues to elude me. They seem to have coexisted with the mysterious forest sprites. I find loose hints of Mesoamerican civilizations such as the Olmec with their renowned colossal headstone sculptures dating back to 900 BC. Strangely though, the Olmec civilization was much younger and located no less than 5,000 kilometers away from here. the two remaining well we know I'm probably gonna die trying to walk down this <laughs> this uh, jumping kind of reminds me of uh, <laughs> to rock watching that game <laughs> tree trunk looking thing would get us to safety but it didn't I didn't know if it would kill me there corn before it even hit the ground apparently all right so now the valley's back up to full health guess we'll go over towards this one thought there was going to be more music than what there's been so far Sure, at some point we'll climb up whatever that is. Alright, so now just trying to figure out how to get to this location. jump on that one. Didn't press the jump button at least. Alright, water will kill us so we can't go that way. <laughs> here I guess all right caution monument wall unstable blunt force may cause collapse hold L2 and run down slope for maximum momentum all right just wasn't running fast enough According to legend, 
legend, the life seed is said to be a bringer of death on a global scale, splintering the earth into fragments. Such end time scenarios are common across mythologies, from the apocalypse to Ragnarok. However, it's unusual for the event to surround a particular object, especially one acquired by mortals. So the third one's over there, to the right. Guess I'll try and do that one and then we'll end the video. Do not kill me. I don't know if the uh, puzzles will become more difficult as we go along. If you would even call these puzzles. <laughs> By giving life to trees, there is a chance one or more golden acorns will drop. Yeah, I have like 21 acorns, so... <laughs> I've come to call daemons are so lively. I've done my best to study their behaviors, but without a zoologist on site, I'm mostly coming up dry. They're completely harmless, so the army tends to ignore them as they go about their research. I wonder if the world would clamor to have these daemons as pets. I'm sure my mother could use one. Better than all those feral cats in her backyard anyways. Just trying not to kill myself here. <laughs> Guess we're going to these steps over here. I guess I <laughs> get some ledge or something. It's kind of a little touchy about <laughs> the uh, trying to get everything lined up. The controls are a little, um, a little loose, which is fine. The blue means you can take life from it, I guess, and green, you can give life to it. Alright, now we're back to full, full valley health. Virginia King, my mother would tell me stories of daemons as ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. It will have to do for now until a zoologist can classify the forest sprites more appropriately. Yeah, it seems like half the time they're just repeating what she said in the audio log. I guess I'll go ahead and end the video here since it's running a little long. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.
Bye, guys.